Hi everyone, this is Leslie and you're watching Midlife and Nailing It. Please hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. Today's video is a what's for dinner. I will be posting this kind of video every Monday. Last week was crazy busy in our house, so I have four meals for you this week that are quick and easy. I hope you enjoy. This night was especially busy, so I just grabbed shake and bake from the pantry. I keep that on hand for nights like this. And then I went with a pork chop that was thin cut and boneless, and I just followed the box directions. You want to preheat your oven at 400 for these. And then I went with the organic rainbow cauliflower that comes frozen from Trader Joe's. I tossed that with their olive oil in everything but the bagel seasoning. This is like one of my all-time favorite things in the whole wide world. I drive an hour to Trader Joe's just to pick up this cauliflower. Not kidding. I buy like six bags at a time. It is so freaking good. So anyways, I cook this. Uh, usually I do 425, but I just wanted to cook it the same time as the pork chop, so I did 400. And that's what they looked like when they were completed. The pork chops were nice and crispy, and the cauliflower was super good. So this night, I made breakfast for dinner. I just have in there some turkey sausage patties. I put them in the pan with a little bit of water. I flip them once during when the water is in there. When the water cooks off, I flip them both again to crisp them up a bit on the outside. This cooks the sausage slowly so that it doesn't get burnt on the outside and gets completely done on the inside. I then just uh, grabbed some Kroger buttermilk pancake mix, uh, just followed that by directions. You literally just add water. Uh, I made quite a lot, I actually made a bit too much, uh, but anyways, I'll use half of this batter for just plain pancakes, as you can see there, and then we maybe have pancakes once a year, <laughs> true story. Uh, so the kids like chocolate chips in their pancakes. So once I've cooked off as many plain pancakes as I want, I go ahead and switch over to the chocolate chips. Uh, another tip for when you make pancakes, I've got my big soup pan, I guess, like the big one you would cook soups in, and I just throw the pancakes in there and throw the lid on top, and that way it keeps them hot uh, until dinner time. So I'm frying up some eggs here for my husband and son. They both wanted two each. I will break the yolks of my son's eggs because that's how he likes them. Uh, you want to use about a pat and a half of butter and then my eggs, I put salt and pepper on them. And then you want to use a very thin spatula uh, so that the ones that you don't want to break don't when you flip them. And then this is how they come out. I have them on the plate next to the sausage to serve. My pancakes are ready as well to serve. I have the chocolate chip on one side and the plain on the other. This is what this meal looks like plated up. That's actually my husband's plate because he had the eggs on it and I wanted to show you everything. For this next meal, you want to preheat your oven at 400 degrees. And I actually found this sauce. It's called an oven sauce from Aldi. It's the cookhouse brand. I hadn't seen it before. And I went ahead and picked it up. It's the classic roasted chicken. I'm actually using here uh, just your standard pack of chicken tenderloins. I went ahead and cut out all the that white gristly uh, part that comes in your standard te tenderloin. Uh, you want to go ahead and get that out of there. That's no fun to bite into. Uh, I am using... I believe I used three whole carrots. I just peeled and chopped them, but you can use whatever carrots you want to use. And then those are just the petite, uh, I think they're the golden potato. I cut each one in half. I cut an onion up in chunks. And then I have some fresh rosemary and three garlic cloves chopped up along with some salt and pepper. 
I went ahead and just threw everything on a sheet pan and then I threw all the spices and herbs on top. Then I just put the sauce on top of everything. I probably used about two thirds of the bag. I kind of felt like that was enough. After that, I just used my hands and made sure everything was evenly coated and in a flat layer on the pan so that it all cooked evenly. This meal smelled so good when it was cooking and this is what it looked like when it was finished. It's definitely a savory dish and it just tasted so good. This is what that meal looked like plated up and like I said, I loved this. Everyone loved it. It was really, really good. I will definitely be giving that sauce a go again. The last meal that I have for you is a bean and ham soup that I'm making in my crock pot. You can also make that on the stove top. I use the Randall Great Northern Beans Juice and All. I'm also using some ham that I had on hand that I just diced up. And then I'm using some of the carrots that were left over from the meal that we had the day before, as well as an onion that I peeled and sliced up. I've got two bay leaves there as well. And then I'm also using a generous amount of salt and pepper. I will also add some salt and pepper later on in the day as the cooking process is going on. So this is what it looks like when it all comes together uh, after a stir in the crock pot. I do cook this on high for the entire day. Uh, it needs to cook the entire day. Not only do you want it to all be cooked through, uh, you want it to cook it a bit longer so it gets thicker. And I'll show you what I mean when I show this dish served up. To go along with my ham in bean soup, I went ahead and just made this Famous Dave's cornbread mix as directed. You just preheat your oven at 425. I spray my cupcake pan with just some Pam and throw some liners in there. Uh, and I, I fill it about two thirds of the way high. This is how they turned out. So what I do is take a cornbread muffin and break it up into the bottom of a bowl. I top that off with the soup. You can see the consistency that you want as I'm pouring it into the bowl. The soup recipe is actually my grandmother, so it's a comfort food for me. She made her cornbread homemade in a skillet, but this is what it looks like when it's done. My next video will be up on Wednesday. I plan on filming in the new Aldi that just opened up last week in my area. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.